The GAL screening examination is designed for routine clocking of a patient. It's available in both video and CD format elsewhere. A brief revision form is presented here. The screening examination includes three questions which should be incorporated into routine systemic inquiry. Do you have any pain or stiffness in your muscles, joints or back? Can you dress yourself completely without any difficulty? Can you walk up and down the stairs without any difficulty? Can I just ask you to walk? The patient's gait is assessed for symmetry and smoothness, as well as the ability to turn quickly. From behind, observe the patient for normal shoulder muscle bulk, straight spine, level iliac crests, gluteal bulk and symmetry, any popliteal swelling, calf muscle bulk, and any hind foot abnormalities. Examine from the side, looking for normal cervical lordosis, thoracic kyphosis, lumbar lordosis, and evidence of knee flexion or hyperextension. Asking the patient to touch their toes assesses both hip and lumbar flexion. Lumbar movement is assessed by placing two or three fingers on the lumbar spine. In the anatomical position, inspect for shoulder bulk, elbow extension, quadriceps bulk and symmetry, knee swelling and deformity, foot arches and any midfoot or forefoot deformity. Can I ask you to touch your ear to your shoulder and the other side? Lateral flexion of the cervical spine is performed followed by assessment of the temporomandibular joints. Full shoulder abduction and external rotation is performed by asking the patient to place their hands behind their head. Bring your elbows into the side with your palms facing downwards. Inspect for swelling and deformity of wrists and hands. Inspect the palms of the hands for muscle bulk and any other visual abnormality. Power grip assesses wrist and hand function. Squeezing the examiner's fingers assesses strength. Fine precision pinch tests hand joint movement, coordination and concentration. Gently squeezing the metacarpal phalangeal joints screens for inflammatory joint disease. Just going to bend your knee up. With the patient on the couch, assess full knee flexion and internal rotation of the hip in flexion. The same on this side. A patella tap should be performed to exclude knee effusions. The soles of the feet should be inspected for callus formation and finally squeeze the metatarsal phalangeal joints again to screen for inflammatory arthritis. The results of the screening examination can be recorded in a table. This is how it would appear for a normal individual.